Everyone, my name is Spicy GB, and welcome back to the 93rd episode of my Minecraft Let's Play. As you can see, we're starting off on top of Villager Island. We're actually going to be working over by the little end monument, which we made in the previous episode. Of course, we have a bunch of houses to make, and that is what we will be doing. But, ladies and gentlemen, 15W44A is the most recent snapshot as of this episode. And basically, it makes these skeleton horses just that little bit more useful. Because what we're going to start off by doing is killing them. Yeah! Get killed, son. And basically, they now drop these end crystals. Now, obviously, because this is a snapshot, I'm not entirely sure if this will remain the, uh, like a guaranteed drop from these skeleton horses. It might change when the official 1.9 update comes out. But basically, what you need to do is if you have four end crystals, you can actually go ahead and respawn the ender dragon in the end. And it's pretty dang cool because what it means you need to do is you need to use four end crystals. Uh, you've got the end portal in the end, you know, with all the bedrock and whatnot. So you have to put them all on the uh, sort of edges, I guess. So, yeah, that's that's how that works. It's a proper way of respawning the dragon as opposed to making, what was it, a creeper face made out of clay blocks? I never done that, so uh, I, I didn't really have a chance to go through with that. But, uh, yeah. There's a few other things as well, including new bunny sounds when they move around and uh, a couple of other things as well, including food regen changes once again to fix the fact that sometimes you'd be able to regen health even if you didn't have nine or more hunger bars. So, you know, that's kind of cool. But yeah, guys, uh, we're, not really, we're not really going to be exploring that today because there isn't really much to show. So, yeah, we are going to gather some materials and I'll meet you guys back once we're ready to start building. Alright guys, so uh, while going ahead and grabbing some stuff, I actually realised a couple of things, one of which was something you guys pointed out, but first of which appears to be the fact that uh, the hitbox for the trap door no longer seems to be there, in that you can just go straight up through the trap door, and for some reason, I wind up climbing all the way on top of it, which is kind of strange, but I guess also kind of awesome. So instead of bashing your head into the bottom part like here, where you used to do that, you just seem to go through it now, which is kind of cool, I guess. And secondly, the other thing uh, that was pointed out to me was the fact that the portal travel sound has actually returned. I've got to be honest, I didn't really notice that it left, so let's just listen really quick. We're not listening for the initial sort of sort of whirly sound when you go into the portal, we're listening for the sound as we travel into the nether, okay? So listen very carefully. That's the sound right there. Apparently, that sound has not been in the game for absolutely ages, and I don't know, I feel like it's quite nice that it's back. I don't know, it's just, it's just nice. Kind of reminds me of the old days. Ah, oh, man, I love that sound. It kind of reminds me of the first time I ever went to the nether. I don't know, I, I get... I, I, <laughs> I'm easily uh, impressed, if you haven't already realised, but uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, I, I wanted to bring you back, not only to show you those things, but I also wanted to have a bit of a chat with you guys, because... Uh, a lot of you, well, if you do follow me on Twitter, I have been having a bit of trouble deciding what to do for Python Plays Minecraft Season 2 or World 2 because uh, I have been debating whether or not I should use terrain generation mods. Okay, now the terrain generation mods in question would be the realistic world gen mod and the biomes o plenty mod and also the underground biomes mod. Now, those three mods would literally be the only mods installed but, the bad news is, those are only updated for 1.7, so not even 1.8 has those mods yet, which is really quite a shame, because if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure the 1.8 update isn't that much, well, the modders don't seem to be a big fan of it, I'm not entirely sure why, obviously I'm not a modder myself, but, uh, you know, there, there must be reasons why they aren't updating their mods to 1.8, but, there is uh, one mod out there called uh, Gainey's Overworld, I believe, which actually goes ahead and adds in the 1.8 features and blocks for you. So things like Prismarine and the Guardian Temples, they actually exist in 1.7 through the Gainey's Overworld mod, and it's a pretty cool one. So, the, the thing that's been going through my mind recently is I could go ahead 
and use that sort of minute mod pack uh, as the Python Plays Minecraft Season 2 sort of one. So I'd have like really awesome terrain gen, I'd have uh, underground biomes, I'd have the 1.8 features and 1.7 and it's, it's quite cool. I don't know if you guys, I think I've put some screenshots of some of the terrain I've managed to get on Twitter as well. So I don't know, maybe you guys can go and have a look at that. But uh, the bottom line is... I have been aching for a different terrain generator in Minecraft for such a long time now. Now, obviously, igloos, you know, the, the generation of the igloos in 1.9, that's a step in the right direction. You know, new generated structures, that's kind of cool. And obviously, I appreciate Mojang for going ahead and adding them. But in my opinion, it just isn't enough. It really isn't enough. There's so much more they could do to make the terrain generator more interesting. For example, I, I still maintain my opinion today that the Minecraft beta terrain generator was by far and away the best that there was and the reason why I think that is because you sometimes got some of the most awesome things in the entire world like you'd sometimes get ridiculous mountains with trees on them you know it's 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 really quite something it's really quite qua <laughs> really quite crazy okay I could talk today man good job Biden dude oh man but yeah Basically, what I'm trying to ask is, do you guys think I should go ahead and use 1.7 and those terrain generation mods for Python Plays Minecraft Season 2? Or do you think I should go ahead and stick to 1.9? Now, the reason why I want to go to 1.9 as the other sort of alternative is the fact that 1.9, the recent snapshots have actually added quite a lot of pretty awesome things. And I'm actually kind of happy with the amount of stuff they've been adding. And as a result, I'm like, oh my god, I really want to play 1.9 for Season 2 now. So... Basically, the choice is we have 1.7.10 with the terrain generation mods, or we have 1.9, the vanilla update. So, I don't know, man. I might have to do a special sort of mini episode where I could show you guys both of them sort of side by side or something. I don't know, or just sort of show you the kind of terrain generation I can get with the, uh, with the mods I have. But, yeah, I don't know, man. It's, it's something I'm going to have to try and figure out at some point. Obviously, you know, if you guys have uh, any suggestions or any feedback or anything, then, you know, it's very much appreciated, but, yeah, oh, man, but, yeah, the mods are literally, it would be classed as a modded sort of season of Python Plays Minecraft, but modded in only the lightest sense of the term, I mean, there won't be any sort of ridiculous OP mods, no tinkers, nothing like that, every single other thing in that mini mod pack is completely vanilla, so it will still essentially be a vanilla season of Python Plays Minecraft, just with the terrain generation mods, so, I don't know, man, like I said, it's up to you, like I said, I want to see what you guys uh, come up with, you know, if you have any uh, thoughts on the subject, then by all means, the comments area is there for a reason, I'm always open to suggestions, my friends, so, yeah, I don't know, I just thought I'd uh, bring you back just to sort of go ahead and talk about the topic in hand, because, yeah, it's something that's been on my mind for a little while now, and, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's cool, it's cool, man. Right, so, as you can see, what I'm doing here, I mean, for once, very, it's a very rare occurrence, but I have actually been able to multitask today, ladies and gentlemen, which is really quite rare. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, as you can see, what I'm doing is I am using a bunch of sort of ye olde style blocks in order to get these little mini houses going, so... I, I thought it's uh, I thought it was a pretty cool idea. Obviously, there's uh, more blocks I could be using. For example, uh, what else could I? I could potentially use gravel in these builds, but uh, obviously we have to sort of factor in the fact that uh, gravel does succumb to gravity. So I don't know. It's uh, something we'll have to consider. But uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to use sort of ye oldy blocks. Unfortunately, I don't have a vine farm of any sort or any description. So. I can't go ahead and make mossy variants of blocks just yet. I'll have to try and find myself a swamp biome. I don't even remember if I have a swamp biome in this world. In all honesty, I mean, I have a pretty terrible memory as it is, so... I don't know. It'll be, uh, it'll be pretty interesting. Okay, uh, what else have we got? What's, we've got solid stone. That could be something we can use, maybe. Okay, so a little bit of this, a little bit of that here and there. Uh, okay, we need to replace that, put that there. Uh, oh, dang it, that's in the wrong place. So, all over the place, as you can see... Uh, okay, maybe we'll scrap the whole, uh, building with gravel. I don't think we really need to, to be honest, so, yeah. Okay, and obviously we're going to need windows, so we need to go ahead and replace some of these blocks here and there. Okay, so that's looking good. Uh, once again, let's, uh, get rid of that. Let's replace it with the stone blocks, like so. We'll have this back part entirely as a window, so that's okay. That house is done right there, so we've got this right here. 
Uh, we can have that be a window. That seems like a legit idea. Okay. Another window there. Uh, oh, no. That's not supposed to happen. Okay. Right. We're getting there, though, folks. We're getting there. We're almost done this little sort of mini project right here. Obviously, we need to put in the roofs and the uh, interiors. But uh, aside from that, we've been doing uh, we've been doing pretty decently, man. And I am pretty happy. Okay. Boom, boom. Uh, one goes there. One goes there. And again, that can be a window. And finally, we've got this uh, house over here, which I believe is the final one. Yep, I think it is. And yeah, there we go. So let's just have a little bit of a uh, sort of wandering as if we were a new person walking into the village. So you'd walk into the village. Ooh, there's a bunch of spooky things going on here. We've got a dragon head. We've got this mini end monument. I mean, yeah, I know you don't get water in the end, but I just thought, you know, why not convert it into a fountain? It seems like a pretty cool idea to me. So yeah. So we've got the egg, we've got the head, we've got all these sort of spooky type blocks or ye olde blocks, nether warts, you know, uh, you know, soul sand, leaves, tall grass. And obviously you've got all these sort of ye olde style houses as well. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this, man. I'm pretty dang happy with this indeed. Right, okay, I think the next thing we need to do is get ourselves some roofs going on these things. So, let's go ahead and get on with that and I'll be back shortly. Alright guys, I am back, and as you can see, the roofs are pretty much done. I went for a very, very rough design, a very rough design indeed, with a combination of uh, of stone brick slabs, we have cobblestone slabs, we have uh, dark oak slabs, and of course we've got leaves as well, just because, you know, old leaves, you know, kind of makes sense, doesn't it? So, yeah, I mean, yeah, it does look a bit rough from the top, but from the bottom, let's just have a quick look on the inside. Yeah, this is the effect I was going for, man. Sort of ye olde, sort of decrepit and natured over and whatnots natured over that's not even a thing but oh well doesn't matter a great deal uh i'm trying to figure out i could probably keep this floor right here actually man i could probably keep it yeah i think that'll work quite nicely okay so we could go ahead and start chucking on the doors and then of course we need to do the windows as well i went for dark oak door simply because it's the one that fits best i guess so that's kind of cool there we go, and I also wanted to try something a little bit different in that I want to try and sort of connect these roofs up, maybe? I don't know, I feel like that could work, perhaps. So let's just try it out, so I'm just going to try a variety of different materials here. So wood, all that kind of jazz, because obviously these don't, so these roofs don't like stick out or anything like that, so it doesn't really make a great deal of sense. Is it really worth me doing that one there? I don't know, man. I'm, I think I like this. I think I like it. I can't say I'm entirely sure yet. I'll have to see what it looks like when it's done, but uh, who knows? Who even knows? But I'll tell you what, while we're doing this, ladies and gentlemen, we can jump into the question of the video for today that comes from a user by the name of Ethan Rip, and his question is, do you prefer Minecraft music or Terraria music? Without any shadow of a doubt, unfortunately, you know, disappointment to you Terraria peeps, but I actually prefer the Minecraft music because Minecraft music, it's just so nice and gentle and peaceful and calm, and that's the sort of music I like to listen to. So that would be my uh, my answer right there, my friends. I mean, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the Terraria music, but I love the Minecraft music just that little bit more. So, you know, that's a thing. That is a thing. Right. Okay, and uh, I will pass that question on to you guys because I'm pretty uh, interested to see what you come up with. Uh, do you prefer the Minecraft music or the Terraria music? Leave your responses in the comments area below. And of course, guys, if you would like to leave your questions, suggestions in the comments area below as well, you'll have a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out. Ah, well, this is a bit of a problem. Can baby zombies get through that gap? I have a feeling they might be able to. Well, that kind of sucks in which case. We'll have to have uh, all the windows be one material, I guess. So that can only be fences. That can be iron. Uh, let's have this one be iron bars. Let's have this one be wood. Ah, uh, oh, I can't even get in there. You see, it's secure already, man. It's secure already. I am liking it, man. I think the final thing I want to do is chuck some glowstone inside the houses so they're not too dark. Because obviously dark houses will mean mobs will spawn. And I don't really want that to be the case, because once again, I would like there to be uh, villagers roaming around inside these things. So, yeah, I think it'll be kind of cool. So, boom, boom, go in here. We're going to need to use slightly more fences instead of uh, iron, because I'm still short on iron in this world. I really need to go on a bit of an iron excavation trip thing. Yeah, that. 
Okay, we've got nine left. Oh my god, how many more can we get done with nine? I have no idea. Okay, so that side's done. Okay, is there a great deal more? Not really. We've got that one there. Uh, any more windows at the front that I need to know about? Uh, yep, there's a few here, so we're going to use iron here as well. Okay, and there's one here, but I can't reach it, so I'll have to go inside. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And any more? I don't believe there is. I think that's actually it. Oh man, this is so cool! I can't believe it, man. We've got this thing almost done. Like I said, the final thing I want to do is I would like to grab some glowstone and go ahead and put them inside the houses just so we can sort of have a bit of light going here and there. And of course, I want to bone meal this. I did a wee bit of terraforming. I've got a tree growing here as well, which I guess is kind of cool. And yeah, I need to bone meal this grass right here. So let me go ahead and grab some materials and I'll be back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I trawled across my entire world and it turns out that I don't have any glowstone at all. So I guess for the first time in probably ever, we are actually going to need to go ahead and use this guy to get some glowstone. Oh, look, he sells two glowstone. Yo, that's a good, that's a good trade, man. I'm okay with that. Cheers, bud. Oh, you're going to, you're going to refresh that so I can buy some more. Oh, man, I love, I love me some villagers, man. They really are quite good. Wow, I can still trade with them as well. Look at the amount of stuff he trades. It's awesome. Okay. Oh, sorry, bud. Is he going to pick that up now? Huh, maybe not. Okay, cool. I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, grab a whole bunch more of this stuff. Cheers. And glowstone again. Thank you, buddy. I need to get in there and get that blooming... Uh... <laughs> I need to get that blooming zombie flesh back. Thanks, bud. All right, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, he's got so many trades. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And another couple. There we go. 36 now. Wow. Now you're really getting there, man, aren't you? You're really getting there. I like it. All right, boom. Boom. He's out again, which kind of sucks. All right, uh, is this? Yep, it's reopened. Found Abby Dozy. All right, come on. I want some more, bud. Come on. There we go. All right. How much more? One more. Okay, cool. So now let's go ahead and trade that all in for glowstone. 50 glowstone. Found David Ozzy. Ah, no, 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 no. You do not come outside, sir. Wait, I wonder if while I'm here, I'll be able to get... Wait. Oh, these already have their enchantment books. Wait, what about... Wait, was there another one? Yeah, him. Do you already have your enchants? Yep. God damn it. We can't get the mending or frost walk then, unfortunately. Well, done. All right, guys. Back to the main area. Alrighty, folks, let's get these light sources in place, shall we? So we're very simply going to go ahead and put glowstone in the roofs of these houses. So let's go ahead and uh, do exactly that. And then we'll quickly work on the interiors with the uh, with the chairs and whatnots. And we'll call the episode there. So once again, just uh, in the comments area, let me know what you think about the uh, 1.7 mods versus 1.9 for season two of python plays minecraft in the comments area below obviously like i said uh, your feedback is much appreciated so yeah all right so that's the lights in place we now have the job of getting all of this stuff in place so just some tables and chairs here and there so table boom wait really i can't huh interesting i cannot place pressure plates on top of uh, stone fences Interesting. Interesting indeed. All right, what if I use uh, dark oak? Will that work? I have no idea, honestly. All right, that should do the job anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and see if that works. Have they changed that? All right, boom, boom. Oh, that's interesting. So you can't place pressure plates on top of cobblestone fences. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is something I genuinely didn't know. Okay, well, Python learns something new every day. <laughs> okay, cool. So, boom, 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 boom. Uh, we'll have chair, chair. Uh, yeah, I'll do the job, actually. All right. Uh, okay, let's move on to the next one. Eat every villager is going to get a table and chair, basically. That's how it's going to work. All right, so I have one there. Oh, it's raining as well. Oh, that should make it nice and atmospheric, wouldn't it? Ooh. Awesome. Okay. Uh, boom. Boom. Chair, chair. Oh, dang it. Why? Why you misplace and make me mad? Why you do this? I don't know, man. Come on. All right, Boom. Okay, just a couple more to do, and that will do the job very, very nicely. So, boom, boom. Again, with the chairs. There we go. Just a few more to do, and that will do the job. 
But yeah, guys, I uh, I think we're going to end the episode for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course you're excited to see more. Dang it, I probably broke that stuff. If you are excited to see more, be sure to drop a like rating, my friends. It would be much appreciated. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But, ladies and gentlemen, that will wrap it up for today's episode. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, my friends. Is this thing done? Yes or no? Yes, it is. Fan Dabby Dozy. <laughs> Wow, okay, this is looking cool now. I'm liking this. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.